Hello friends, Coach Bob with you again, and today we are going to be talking about fear again. You know, we're doing a little series on fear. If you didn't pick that up from last week, we talked about fear. This week, we're going to talk about fear of the unknown. Ooh, man, that's a big one, let me tell you. You know, I'm going to share a little story before I share a Bible verse. You know, sometimes we overthink stuff, right? We're, we're like, well, I've never done that before. That, that That's not going to be good. Uh, that, I'm afraid to do that. It could be something as, as benign as a track day on a motorcycle or maybe even just going on a big tour on the motorcycle or or hopping in the old truck and going somewhere, taking care of important business, which is what I'm out doing, by the way. First, I'm going to share this verse with you. This is out of the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 8. You know, I always say that's the cool book for the dudes. Deuteronomy, it's not spelled dude, but you know what I'm saying. But the verse says this, the Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. Yeah, he goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. You know, there are things in your life that you look at and you go, man, I will never do this. I will never do that. Although 30 years is a long time, 30 years to me, if I look backwards, 30 years doesn't seem that long ago. You know, 30 years ago, I, was, I wasn't I was married to Coach Vic. Anyone who's followed my channel, they know I'm married to Vicki, who's also a coach. I call her Coach Vic lovingly. And she's in a wheelchair. She's a T7 paraplegic. She was hit by a drunk driver, for those who don't know. But 30 years ago, I wasn't married to Vicki. I was married to Sheila. You know, 30 years ago, Sheila had not been diagnosed with cancer, and we had two children, and they were beautiful. We had the perfect life. Uh, we, I had a great job. I still, I retired from that great job too, but I had a great job. We had two beautiful children, a beautiful home. Our life, if you took a snapshot of the American dream, we were living the American dream. We were high school sweethearts. We had, we grew up together. We were the only people that we had ever been with. Our life was, it was neat. It was clean. It was tied up in a box with a bow on it. It was beautiful and it really was beautiful. But if you were to ask me 30 years ago, Bob, where are you going to be? You know, I wouldn't think I'd be where I am. First off, I don't think I would have been in Tallahassee, Florida. But certainly, looking at my life, I would say I would have never ended up there. She was diagnosed with cancer a long time ago, and she died. And it was terrible. Very dark time of my life. And I would meet people, and honestly, I wouldn't have anything in common with them. Either We were just going in different directions in life. What I wanted out of life and what people that I would date would want out of life would be dramatically different. And I wasn't looking for a cheap date. None of that mattered to me. I didn't wasn't looking for any of that. I was looking for someone to spend my life with. And then I met Vicki. You know, the first time I saw her, she came wheeling in. Yeah, wheeling in because she's a paraplegic. And I was like, man... Here's this beautiful, absolutely stunningly beautiful creature. And this sucks, she's in a wheelchair. And then we, we went to dinner, we sat at a table, and when we were sitting at the table, I realized halfway through the conversation that we were moving in the same direction. It was almost like God had tapped me on the shoulder and said, she's the one, Bob. You know, I was, I was absolutely terrified of that. What is it going to be like? What is life going to be like? Married to someone who's paralyzed. Now there might be a lot of you guys are going, how shallow of you, Bob? But you know what? I'm being honest. It scared me. It scared the heck out of me because I knew this wasn't going away. This wasn't a problem that we were going to say, well, she'll be paralyzed, but it'll get better. No, it's going to get harder. And we knew that. We discussed that as we were dating. But there was this fear of the unknown. What would this bizarre future for me be? What would this future be for my children? Vicki wanted to have children of her own. Are we gonna be able to have children? Is this just gonna be another bitter disappointment for her? Can she handle the family? It was literally instant family, just add Vicki. The house existed, the children existed, the career existed, everything was there. It was instant family and plug her in. What an enormous task. So I not only had fear of the unknown for me, but she had fear of the unknown for her. She used to tell me often, Bob, you have to slow down. 
I'm new at this. I want to tell you that if we would have given in to that fear, the beauty of our youngest child, she would have never existed. If it wasn't for overcoming the fear of, of paralysis and relationships and me being a widower, if we would not have overcome those fears, we wouldn't be married today. You wouldn't be watching this channel. You wouldn't be seeing the Coach Bob three channel of all of the trips that Coach Vic and I have cataloged. It was all because of overcoming that fear. I truly believe that God went before me and he went before her and he created this trajectory for both of us to come together and meet at an ordained time and for us to overcome our fears and love one another and honor one another in our lives. And that is exactly what happened. So here's a word that's overused a lot, but I'm going to use it. So is your breakthrough right around the corner? Is the fear of the unknown stopping you from stepping out there and creating a life that is an adventure and a life that is fulfilling and, and wonderful and exciting and you never know what's around the next corner? Or are you afraid to turn the corner? Are you afraid to, to go out there and experience the great unknown? Knowing that you are taken care of by the creator of the universe who is all-knowing should give you a little comfort in the thought that he travels before you and is preparing a way for those of us who are walking in his will. All right. Well, overcome that fear. Step through the doorway. Don't let the fear of the unknown stop you from doing something. And know this, you, make this left turn, <laughs> yes, you are loved, and so am I, and that is great news. Now you go change the world, and I'll talk to you again real soon.